I think that CapCut PC version is the best software to start creating your own videos with. Basically, it's pretty friendly to new users. It's so simple to like understand how does it work. So basically, in this video, I will show you from the beginning to the end how to deal with this app. So let's get started and let's jump straight into it. So to get this app, all you need is just to open your browser, Google Chrome or the others and input something like this, CapCut for Windows or CapCut for Mac. Basically, it doesn't matter. You can input anything you want. So as you can see, this is like the App Store link for Mac users. And if you want to get it for Windows, just input something like this, CapCut for Windows, and then just visit the first link, the second or the third one. I think that all of them are correct and you'll download it for your PC. So this is the easiest way. After that, you'll just download something like this. This is the icon of the app. So let's start to view the interface. This is a start page of the app. Here we can deal with project, we can create one, but I suggest you to sign in the first time you are just downloading the app. So just click on sign in. I will do it with Google. Basically, you can do it any way you can. So after that, uh, the watermark from the exporting video will be successfully removed. And what is more important, sometimes the CapCut could be like in a different languages. To change the language, we can just go to settings right up here, click on settings, and then just go to language basically, and then just choose the language we want to use. There are also some other uh, settings. If you want, you can just try to click and then just change them. So let's create a new project by clicking the start creating right up here. This is our basic interface. So we can see four windows, the first one, the second, the third and the fourth. The fourth one is a timeline, which is really important for us. The first one is just like import area, we can import videos, audios, photos here. We can also use like audio gallery, text, stickers, effects, transitions, filters and adjustment. Basically, this is so helpful. The player, so I will show you how to deal with a little bit later and like details from the part of the video. So if you'll choose media in the first uh, window, we can just click on import right up here and then just choose the necessary files we want to import. Let it be like this, for example. So after that, they appear right up here in the library of our like uh, stuff we can create video from. So basically, this is uh, all you need. We can just import like images like um, audios, music and do some other stuff. So we can just drag it on our timeline and start dealing with it. So as you can see, everything is pretty simple. What can we see on our timeline? If we'll choose the video right up from here, we can uh, split it like in a two different videos. We can just delete it from our timeline. We can like freeze to like create the image from the video. As you can see, nothing is happening. Uh, also, what can we do is just reverse right up here. Uh, mirror it, rotate or crop. So these functions are pretty helpful, I think. So sometimes it could be useful to know where can we find them in this app. Also, we can just record our own voice with a microphone. So if we'll click right up here, we can choose uh, the input device, the volume, and then just start recording by clicking on this button. After that, it will just appear on our timeline. Let me show you how to do this. So just uh, wait, what, one, two, three, and now we can record our voice. Basically, as you can see, now it appears on our timeline. So we can just uh, end the audio and then just close this window. And as you can see, now we had the record right up here. Uh, sometimes it could be also also really, really helpful. There are also some other features. Uh, what is useful is like uh, change the a size of the timeline to increase or just to uh, zoom out. So as you can see, if you want to deal like with the small parts, we just need to zoom in and then uh, our timeline will just zoomed. So if you'll choose the video on the timeline, for example, this one, we can see in the third window just a settings about it. So we can just click on a uh, video here. And as you can see, we have some basic settings. We can scale it. We can change the position. Uh, we can uh, blend it, change the opacity. Sometimes it could be really, really helpful. Uh, add some background. For example, if we'll change the scale, we can see some black parts here. We can change the canvas like to change it to some, some styles, to add some 
Blur, for example, sometimes it could be really, really helpful. If you go to Cutout, we can use the Chroma key right up here if you have the green screen or just uh, for like persons, we can use the auto cutout to cut out them from the background. So I think it's also pretty uh, like, you know, useful feature. We can also use some mask. For example, if we like move one under one right up here, we can use some uh, mask. We can add some circle mask. So now it, it will look like, like this. Um, maybe in a, some variants, it could be also really helpful. And what is interesting, we can go to enhance here. And if you are just dealing with like um, with yourself on the video, you can choose our, we can change our face, for example, like change smooth, brighten, or do some other stuff. I think it's also very cool. I suggest you just to try this feature, just import video with yourself or with just your friends. Sometimes it, it, it could look like funny, I guess. So basically, this is the way how we can deal with the video. If we'll go to audio right up here, we can change the audio settings uh, from this uh, video, basically, add fade in, add fade out, which is, uh, this feature is also really helpful, like noise reduction, just click and the noise will be successfully reduced from our video. Uh, also, we can do like, uh, add some voice effects, like as you can see, we have a lot of them, like robots, electronic, and other device and other uh, effects basically. So mm, yeah, uh, we can also change the speed of video. If you want like speed up, you can change it like, like here basically. Uh, also we can add some animations, add some like, um, add some stuff like here. I suggest you just to try it like in animation, out animation, yeah. Uh, we can also try to track the motion. Uh, sometimes it could be really helpful if you want like to text follow the people or some item on the video. So let's delete this one. Uh, what is more, uh, what is really helpful here, I think, is that we can add like in video and basic, we can add some keyframes right up here. For example, we can change the scaling from this frame to this frame to like, for example, like this. And if we'll try to watch this part of the video, what can we see? We can see that the like uh, the image like increases in size. Sometimes it could be really, really helpful. Yeah, basically it looks like this. So we can also go to adjust, try to use some settings here, but honestly, I don't use it anymore. So I don't think that you have to do this. If you will choose like audio here, we can only change some audio settings like basic or speed, can change the speed or basic like add fade in, add fade out, or just add noise reduction. Um, honestly, I suggest you to use noise reduction all the time because you know, sometimes there is some noises on the audio so we can just delete them. This is the main features. Uh, if you'll go to audio in the first window right up here, we can see the like the uh, audio of like free audio library, we can see them right up here. We can try to uh, download them. It will click or will listen. So if we can just click and then just edit on our timeline. You know, sometimes it could be also really helpful if you try to find something, some here. Um, here in the text area, we can add some text. We can add some effects as you can see or different fonts or different like styles of the text, um, I think. It could be really, really exciting. Like we can just click on add some nature, for example. Uh, and what's more like um, basic for us now, if you will click on it on the timeline, we can see some settings here. We can choose the font. We can choose the size. So we can change the size. We can change the style. Uh, we can change color. We can change some presets. So Basically, all the settings are right up here. We can add some bubbles. Let's try to add this one. Doesn't look that good. You can add some effects to change like uh, the style from here, basically. So there are a lot of uh, different templates here, like this, like this. So all you need is just to try. We also have a lot of stickers here, just a stickers library. We can add them right up here. Um, effects a lot of different effects so we can just move it on just drag and drop it on our timeline here and now it will look like this basically it looks interesting at least 
Uh, so there are a lot of them. All you need is just to try, I guess. Basically, this is the, the easiest way, you know, to uh, understand the app. Um, transitions, also very, uh, I think, useful thing. We can just move it between two videos and now it looks it looks much more like uh, natural to space between them. It looks like this. So we can change the duration or do some other stuff. So now it looks like this. Filters uh, just for people, for food, for movies, for nature right up here. So we can just drag and drop. And as you can see now, it looks a little bit different. We can also uh, click on it here and try to find some settings of the filter right up uh, here. And also we have some adjustments. Basically, I don't use it, so I don't even know what does it, what this thing is about. Uh, so the main features are here. I hope, guys, that this tutorial was helpful for you. If it is, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and watch my other small tutorials about this program. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye. And the most important thing, how to export videos, basically, of course, all we need is just to click on export in the right top corner, right up here. So after that, this menu will pops up. Here we can change the title. title. Let's change like nature. Uh, here we can change the uh, download folder, just choose it right up here. So let it be like the desktop. After that, we can change the resolution. I suggest you to set the highest quality you have like in your on your timeline. So if you have 2K videos, just set it into 2K. Uh, Bitray, recommended, codec, format, MP4 or move on the Mac. So I will choose MP4 and the frame rate, of course. So after that, everything we need is just to click on export. And in a few, maybe seconds or minutes, everything will be done. So that's all. See ya.